Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So when it comes to Hollywood and virtue signaling, well, they know exactly what they're doing because they'll go well out of their way to appease the LGBT community, to grovel to them on Twitter, social media, and make sure that they can get those fans on side. But when it comes to their actual movies, their actual product that they're putting out, it only extends as far as their checkbook as Ben Shapiro said perfectly. Because Warner Brothers has actually cut from its new Fantastic Beast film a reference to an LGBT relationship between Dumbledore and Grindelwald. So it's not just Disney doing protests, we also have Warner Brothers, it's just all of Hollywood. They wanna say one thing to project to their fans and audiences so they can get their money in, but when it comes to their product, they have to cut six seconds from a movie to appease the Chinese audience, to appease the Chinese market, the CCP, because it's gonna hurt their bottom line. So let's take a look at this. On IGN, references to Dumbledore and Grindelwald's gay relationship were cut from Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore in China, making the film six seconds shorter. Six seconds. You went out of your way to appease China for a six seconds, like one line. Good God. Variety has confirmed a report from news.com.au, shout out Australia, stating dialogue that alluded to a romantic past between Albus and Gellert, specifically the lines, because I was in love with you. And the summer, Geller and I fell in love. Holy moly. Were edited out of Fantastic Beasts 3 by Warner Brothers for the movie's release in China, shortening the 142 minute runtime by 6 seconds. 6 seconds! 2 lines! Unbelievable. Well, not really. We've seen them edit things for China many times. We've even seen Shang-Chi not get a China release because the Chinese audience weren't happy with the representation they got from Shang-Chi. So J.K. Rowling first announced Dumbledore was gay in 2009, yet the films had never made any direct references to Dumbledore's sexuality until now. As well as making Dumbledore canonically gay, Fantastic Beasts 3 references the close bond between Dumbledore and Grindelwald, which Rowling believes to have once had a sexual dimension. Okay, whatever. Isn't that what everyone wants? No, but they're cancelling JK Rowling now because she doesn't go along with the LGBT narrative on social media. So they still want to cancel her because she's against that, but she put it in 2009 that Dumbledore was LGBT. So here's what happened. The lines were apparently removed from the movie in China to comply with local requirements, but Warner Brothers insists that the spirit of the film remains intact. 142 minute film, like you wouldn't, you'd hope that that gay relationship wasn't the, the linchpin or the, the hinging point of the whole movie or Dumbledore's whole character arc. But how funny is it that they, this company and companies in Hollywood, these studios, will go out of their way to tweet stuff like this. We celebrate LGBTQ plus artists, employees and fans and are proud of our stories that represent the LGBTQ plus experience, but acknowledge we have more to do. We are committing to tell more authentic LGBTQ plus stories nurture queer talent and harness our resources to advocate for equality. And they get there right there. Warner Brothers logo with the uh, LGBT T plus flags and all that. There you go. We're, we're committed to celebrating our artists that are LGBTQ plus, but only as long as it doesn't hurt their bank accounts, which is exactly what Ben Shapiro said perfectly. Their principles extend precisely as far as their bank accounts, which is why Americans should push back of their injection of garbage social values into entertainment by taking their money elsewhere. Exactly. What is it that uh, Young Ripper, Eric July says, don't fund these companies that hate you? If you're gonna stand on your principles in the West, do it all around the globe. Not just in the West where they're gonna bend to you and just, they're gonna go watch your movies regardless because the industry's so big in the US basically and in the West. When you take it to countries like China, Stand by it. Say, no, we're willing to risk our whole movie and money, box office money, on six seconds because of the LGBTQ relationship. They clearly do not stand by it. They obviously do not care enough to stand by the LGBT community when it hurts their checkbook and their bottom line. We saw that also in Eternals when they had to do that in Saudi Arabia, which I also did a video on because Saudi Arabia didn't want that gay kiss, which was like a second or two in the whole movie. They wanted that edited out. And Disney, oh, oh yeah, okay, yes, Saudi Arabia, we'll, we'll do that for you. We'll edit out our LGBTQ plus representation so we don't lose money in overseas markets. It's absolutely ridiculous. These companies, they want to stand on their, their principles that support the LGBTQ plus agendas. But then when it comes to actually their bottom line, they do not care at all. 
and it shows right here. Pulling references to LGBTQ plus relationships is helping representation so much, isn't it? We're gonna pull it from the movie because China doesn't agree and it's gonna hurt our bottom line. That's what these companies do, man. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this video out there. And I'd like to thank my members at the two towers level, Daniel James and Sir Straith. And we'll see you guys in the next one.